Hey everybody, DCT here. Talking about Jason Witten. Yeah, Jason Witten. The best tight end, tight end in pro football. Now, there is word on the street that he is going to get... No, not suspended, no. That's, that's the Eagles' job, to have players suspended, arrested, you know, considering uh, Mr. Bennett there. I've read up a lot about that. Um, how sad is that? That's kind of... Uh, then they, they call us signing criminals, you know. As they signed someone who wants... Who's out for an arrest. Yeah. But what I'm really here talking to you guys about is Jason Witten. There is rumors going about that we're going to restructure his contract. No. I, I don't want to see us restructure his contract. Um, the only benefit for us would be relieving some cap room. But it would push the money down the road. <clears throat> Instead of it being right now, us paying him, we would pay him either if he retires down the road. So, I don't see why we would. Um, but I just wanted to bring that news to you that Jason Witten, his contract is getting restructured. <clears throat> Or at least there's rumors out saying that um, we're going to restructure his contract. I do not want that, not one little bit. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, it relieves some cap room, but oh, it pushes the money further down the road. This, it's, it is a good move, but it isn't. Because if Witten retires, we still have to pay him down the road. But if he doesn't, well, you know, it wouldn't be as hard because, you know, we're not, you know. Should Witten retire now? No. No, he's, he's mentoring. He can mentor um, if we get a new tight end. Um, I think he gets 3.5 dead money if he retires next year. Uh, wow, that's, that's still a lot. But it probably, I think it'd be more if we restructure his contract. Um, my only problem with restructuring his contract, like I said, it doesn't pay out in the long run. Yeah, it gives us some money right now, resign Navarre Brownman. But later on down the road, it pushes that money, you know, so we won't have money further down the road. Um, I, I love Witten, but, you know, he, he's got to keep playing. Uh, I want him to get his ring. He deserves it so bad. Um, he really does. And uh, I think this year could very well be a championship year. I got my ring. Um, a championship year. Um, probably not. But if, if the O-line gels together... If the defense gels together, if Dak and Zeke gel together, if the receiving core gets chemistry with Dak, this could be a good year. I... Ooh, not good. It's always bad when players get hurt, you know? Uh, it's just a shame, you know? Um, you never want to see anybody get hurt. I hope Space Cowboy. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. What happened to, what happened to Space Cowboy, actually? I'm actually, now I'm kind of worried. Um, you know, I never want anything bad to happen to anybody, but. Uh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Well then. <laughs>
Oh, I'm sorry, Space Cowboy, but uh, the cows are coming. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad, though, for Curry, you know. Uh, stuff as a... Ooh. That's not good. That's that's bad. Uh, sprint. Yeah, that's not a good... Yeah, MCL. Yeah, that's not... That's not... That's not good at all, actually. That's... In fact, really bad. You know, it gets... You know, it just hurts. And especially if you're a fan of the team and you can't do anything. That's like uh, when Romo got hurt. And we're all sitting there like... Our backup is Kellen Moore. Hopefully LeBron stays healthy. Yeah, I hope so too. Um... Because if LeBron stays healthy, well, Cavs are. All right. Hey, actually, shout out to everybody who's watching uh, March Madness. Um, my team got eliminated. We also lost our big center, so, you know. What do you say to people who want Cooper Rush to start? No. No, 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 no. I, I like Cooper Rush. But you gotta remember, Dak is only in his second year. Cut the dude some slack. Cooper Rush is also playing against backup teams. Well, yeah, they're playing against their second string. He's our second string. He's not as... I believe he has potential. I don't think, though, that he's gonna be as good as Dak. I think this is gonna be 1990s all over again. Romo, I mean, not Romo, Garrett and um, Aikman. Where there were fans who wanted Garrett to start, fans who wanted Aikman to start. And once uh, Aikman won that Super Bowl in his third year, yeah, third, uh, Dak's going into his third year, yeah. My Bennett situation looks bad. <laughs> Prayers out to the Eagles, see Dallas, see Dallas Cowboys. In George video? I haven't. Why? What happened? Uh, but let me actually just say something about <laughs> this, <laughs> this. Oh, man. Bennett. Man, Eagles are basically Marty B. retired. Oh. Ooh. Wow. I did not expect that. Um, but let me get, let me say this. Eagles fans, you're basically screwed no matter what. Listen. You sign Martellus Bennett to a Pretty good sized contract in his first year. You cut him, that money is still on the dead. You trade him, well, I don't think anybody wants though that, considering he can't play. Um, also, yeah, you, and you can't use him. So basically, Eagles, you're screwed. You can't do anything now. Uh, sorry, Eagles fans, but, you know, the Cowboys are uh, coming for you. I don't, uh, I don't think that, um, Eagles are gonna win the NFC East next year. People are saying they will, but they're kind of hurting themselves a little bit. Because they didn't need really anything. But they're wasting cap room. They're cutting average players to get average players, you know. Bennett, he's good, but, well, look what just happened. Um, well, Dallas... <clears throat> We're waiting for the draft. We got already up. Uh, Alan Hearns, excuse me, um, as a receiver. Uh, we got some chemistry. They gave us a C for our offseason moves for each of the. For Alan Hearn, that's a C. To me, that'd be about an A minus. You also got to think. I was reading this on someone's uh, Instagram yesterday. They said, <clears throat> ha ha ha, Dallas Cowgirls. Got Alan Hearns from Jacksonville, who got cut, who's trash. Well, you also got to look at their quarterback situation, who uh, someone said, well, Blake Bortles was their quarterback. Yeah. The dude that, <coughs> Blake Bortles, yeah, he's not that good. So we'll have to wait and see what uh, Hearns can do for Dallas. Uh, Walter Football gave us. A D for our offseason as a whole. No. Nope. 
for our whole off season. If we can pull in Navarro Brownman, uh, I'd give us a B plus. Uh, but as it stands right now, I'd give us a C minus. Mainly because, well, that Hearns situation bumped us up to maybe I'd say a. If Hearns is trash, why did so many teams have interest? <gasps> Boy, you're exactly right. You know, you also got to look at the quarterback situation. Look who's their quarterback. You know, Blake Bortles. Yeah, the Blake Bortles, and he got resigned. Someone tell me how that happened, but not my team, not my cap, but. I think Des Bryant. Let's. I actually want to talk because this is about Jason Witten. Let's talk a little bit about the receiving core because of uh, Alan Hearns being here. Um, basically, one of our receivers is most likely gonna get cut, traded, or benched. Most likely, looking like it's gonna be Terrence Williams. I think. Uh, who goes T Des T Will or Cole T Will? I'm sorry. Um, he didn't have a touchdown at all last season. Des had I think Washington. Um, I think Des had four. Cole is easier to cut. He is, but you also gotta think who's more of trade bait. Des T Will or Cole? Well, Des, but. T will, um, it would if we trade him, you know, that would for Earl Thomas, you know, because Seattle, the him in a third round draft pick right at the draft. Well, sure, we'll take that. You know, we we don't have a third round yet, so well, it's third round right now. Uh, let's let's go for it. You know, I definitely think that's is gonna happen, and also Cole Beasley is a better. Um, player and then Terrence Williams I'm sorry uh, T. Will you just your lack of numbers your lack of catching with your hands and catching with your body uh, well if Cole got caught 1 million dead cap if T. Will got caught I think it's like 2 or 3 but I definitely would I definitely think um, right but you save money with Cole but you also got to look at who's the better player. In my mind, Cole Beasley is the better player, you know, uh, especially with that uh, catch like that, you know. If you've got T-Will, you don't save money, just dead money, right? I know. And um, it's a hard decision, but trade Terrence Williams, you know, gets, I believe it would get rid of the cap money from him, and um, it would also help, I think, uh, get Earl Thomas if we could trade to Seattle with third round pick. Cole Beasley's, I believe he's just too good of a player right now for us to get rid of him. <clears throat> um, you know, I I love Cole Beasley, but someone has to go. Um, if not Terrence, it's going to be him. Uh, plain and simple. I think Des, I was watching a mock draft last night on um, NFL Network. They have us taking Calvin Ridley at number 19, having Dez stick around to mentor the players. I don't want that to happen. I don't want Mr. Hot Sauce to go. His music, fight. 80 Stings. That's my favorite song, but he's, he's good. He's good. He's 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 a good rapper. Um, um, I definitely don't want Bees to go. Hot Mr. Sauce, you know. Um... I, I think, though, that with what we have right now, if we get Navarro Brownman, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely go for Will Hernandez. I mean, man, you you, you guys, we're, we need the offensive line. We saw how helpful it was back in 2016. Um, we're on our way back there. Um, if we can get Cameron Fleming, please, please, please. I'm not exactly sure on the details with him. If we get Cameron Fleming, well, we could easily move Lyle Collins back to um, guard. Right guard, I think he was. Because um, <clears throat> he played lights out. 
he played great, definitely great um, his rookie year. Um, but, you know, we're doing that. We could risk him saying, you guys are moving me around too much. I, I don't want to do this. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to play. You guys are moving me around way too much. But if we get, if we do get Will Hernandez, well, you know, and if we get Navarro Brownman, we'll be looking all set for maybe a Super Bowl loss. But I definitely think that uh, the way this team looks right now, with everything that we've been doing, you know, we signed two, well, one good receiver and an okay receiver. Um, I definitely think our receiving core stepped it up. If we get Will Hernandez in the draft, stepped it up. Our defense, well, you know, they were the secondary was just running, so we stepped it up. Um, so I, I definitely think though that we are a step up from last year. Um, Zeke's back, by the way. That's a big thing. You know, we don't have to deal with constant distraction of looking through. Looking through the playbook, this is what Zeke's good at. This is what Rod Smith, and this is what um, Alfred Morris is good at. Is Zeke going to play or is he not going to play? Because we got to figure this out. Okay, one day before the game, he's playing. Good. The game day, oh, he's not playing. Okay, so we just got to flip all these game plans around. So that was also a big, big distraction, and it's not Zeke's fault. So I don't want to hear anybody blaming the season on Zeke. More on Jason Garrett. You know, if we were won two more games, easily done. We could have easily beaten Green Bay and L.A. Rams. We would have been in the playoffs. We would have made some noise. We wouldn't have gone to the Super Bowl, but we would have been at least in the championship or made it to the divisional round. But what do I know? I'm just some guy talking to you guys into a camera. So... I just want to say this, <clears throat> Jason Witten, your contract, might you might uh, get restructured. Terrence or Beasley is going to be gone now. Plus, we're still going to pick up a wide receiver in the draft. I Let me grab out my draft picks for you guys, you know, because I'm building up hype for the draft. Um, I don't want us to go for a receiver in the first round. Uh, I actually have what we should do. <clears throat> First round, linebacker. Second round, defensive tackle. Third round, uh, defensive end. Uh, fourth, wide receiver or cornerback. Fifth, whichever one we don't get, wide receiver or cornerback. And sixth, guard or tight end or something. But if Will Hernandez is there, well... I'm going for Will. I definitely think the dude is good, <clears throat> and I would love to see him on the team, as especially as an O-line uh, step up. Because <clears throat> uh, Mark Holmes actually said this, <clears throat> and I agree with him 100% here. If your lines are good, you run the game, because you need a solid offensive line to uh, be able to run the ball and pass the ball and <clears throat> block for your running and quarterback. And if you have a good defensive line, well, they won't be able to do anything. So, the lines are basically um, what we need to work on right now, Navar or linebacking core and stuff. Uh, Navarro Brownman, um, hopefully we can sign him if he hasn't signed with another team already. Um, but Cameron Fleming, he's still an option. Uh, definitely if we get him, well, <clears throat> we'd be a pretty good team. Uh, if we don't, well... I see Jerry Jones doing blockbuster trade because the draft is in Big D. Yeah, exactly. It's in Dallas right here. You know, I, I'm in the stadium. I, I mean, right here. The, 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 there's my boy. Um, I don't know what his name is. And uh, there's some guy walking up the stairs. He's yelling, get your peanuts. Get, get, get peanuts. Um, but, you know. Uh, I definitely think we're going to do something big for the draft, and it's going to be great. I can't wait to do my draft show. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see who we get, how this team is going to do in the 2018-19 season. I'll see you guys next time. Wait, wait, wait.
Yeah, we get 10 picks. We ain't going to use all of them since, right, you know, and not all 10 players are going to make the team. You know, Joey Ivy. I thought he was a good pick, but did not after seeing what happened. Um, like, not all of the picks are coming onto the team. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.